Right, so here we are today, and we're just going to be uh, doing a quick um, video on uh, filling bug holes in with cement. So, as you might have seen in previous videos, we had a few statues with uh, bug holes, and a few concrete pieces with some small bug holes. And in this video, we're going to fill them in with some cement. So, what we're doing, we're sort of sticking to a similar formula to how we make our concrete. So, that's adding uh, two parts sand and one part cement. And we'll be using PVA glue, which is the same as a PVA bonder we use. I just got like a smaller tub for inside use. Same stuff. And we'll be using washing up liquid for like a plasticizer type thing. Um, which comes in handy. We won't be using the... I have been using like the manufactured plasticizer, but it'll be okay using the washing up liquid. is like for a small little mix as we're doing there. So as you can see, I'm just showing you fairy liquid and before that we had the PVA glue so mixing that together uh, we mix the sand and the cement together dry and then obviously introduce the uh, PVA glue or bonder and the just a tiny bit of uh, washing up liquid and we're just adding some water there it's just a simple job and uh, so once we mix that up we can fill in the holes any holes that are on our statues there's not too many on some of the good casts. Um, some of the casts I'm leaving the holes in because I want to do some kind of special effects paint jobs on the ones that have got uh, quite bad bug holes. So I want to go for some like rusty uh, paint effects. I'm going to do that over the Christmas winter period. So just spraying down the statue there. The statue's dry. So just uh, spraying into the bug holes, just spraying all over, and that'll help our cement stick inside the uh, bug holes or holes in the concrete so there just using a spatula just a dropped a bit there and just uh, apply the cement into the holes and that's it and we can like smooth that down with our hands or or the uh, spatula we got there um, I haven't got any gloves on so I'm sure there'll be people that will pick me up for not wearing gloves, so uh, wear gloves. Um, I'm not wearing gloves at my own risk here, so obviously it is recommended to wear gloves uh, to avoid any reaction to your skin with cement. So I'm doing this at my own risk, but again, it's obviously advisable to wear gloves, latex gloves if you got them, or other kinds, vinyl gloves, whatever you got to protect your skin. So uh, once I've put the uh, cement into the holes, I'm just kind of dusting off there with a uh, sort of firm brushed, firm haired paintbrush, or whatever you want to call the, the bristled, fine, a firm bristled paintbrush, I should say, but not so firm, it's just like kind of like once you've smoothened off the cement in the uh, bug holes for in, in whatever way you have the the, the paintbrush kind of blends it in with the uh, existing concrete on the statue. So that's pretty much it. Just a simple little job. Um, pretty straightforward. And now we're just finishing up the other items that we need to fill. And then prepare them. And then they are prepared, ready for a, a paint job or a wash or just natural concrete. Uh, and that's it. Let, let the... Um, cement dry out uh, over a few days and try and get the uh, cement to match in with the color of the concrete so obviously to uh, achieve that you want to keep your ratios consistent although in this video I did add a little extra sand to the two to one ratio two sand one cement just to thicken up my mix a little bit And then we've got some nice lions there, and like I say, you've probably seen these in the uh, previous videos. I'll probably merge all these short videos into one full length video at some point, maybe over the Christmas period, so they're all in one place. And there we are, there's my nice little dragon. We've got a couple of these dragons, they're, uh, they turned out nice. Uh, there, weren't too, there weren't too many problems with... Um, the bubbles, where the bubbles did collect is in the obvious places, like in, in this case with the dragon, there's a few bubbles underneath the chin, and you'll get the, 
you know, the, the most likely places they're going to collect is under those, like, the recesses, because, of course, when you pour the concrete, it's the other way up. So it's going to, the air is going to obviously trap in those recesses. If it's going to get trapped at all, I mean, like, to avoid, usually get some holes. Um, it's quite hard to get them out sometimes. I've got a vibrating table, but you want to maybe... You know, there's there's different methods to try and get the the air out, burping the bubbles out. Of course, it's quite difficult um, with the bigger moulds to manoeuvre them. Um, I know some people use like a vibrating stick pole to uh, get the uh, air bubbles out. Anyway, there we are. So we'll just let the uh, cement dry and then we'll do whatever we're going to do with the... Um, the concrete pieces there, either paint jobs, natural concrete, washes, or whatever. So you see there's a couple of pieces there that I just left the bug holes in. Like I say, they'll, they'll be used in like a special effects thing at some point. So there's some examples of some washes and paint jobs. Work in progress is there. WIPs. An old Buddha there with a silver coat. But I'm going to go for some more sort of like natural washes over the next... Uh, paint job videos so anyway i'm waffling hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and see you soon over and out for now